Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add guides and grids to your project in Premiere Pro. So, unlike Photoshop and After Effects, guides aren't inherently built into Premiere Pro. The only form of guide we really have is if we click on the settings and we toggle the safe margins on. And all this is showing us is that some TVs, especially older ones, will cut off everything outside of this. So we just want to keep our text and anything readable inside of this safe margin. However, that isn't, it isn't customizable. There isn't like, you know, we can bring it in or bring it out. It's just sort of very basic. So what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to quickly just create your own guides. And all we have to do for this is just go up to File, New, and then to Transparent Video, right like so. Click OK. And then it'll appear over in our project. We're going to grab that transparent video and then just drag it out across. So what a transparent video is, is well, it's just that. It's a video that's completely and totally transparent. Now we can go ahead and add an effect onto this. What we're just gonna look for is the grid effect. So go to your effects, search for grid. It's under video effects, generate, and then grid. And we'll drag that onto the transparent video. So now we have control over actually creating some guidelines so that we could you know, create a graphic or sort of make sure all of our text is in the same area. Really, really simply. And of course, we can turn it off before we export stuff like that, right like so. So what we're gonna do is when we click on this transparent video, if we go over to our effect controls, and then we go down to the grid, we have the control over how we want our grid to look. So we can do it by either sizing from a corner point, the width slider, or the width and height. I personally like the width and height slider. If you want them to always be squares, just go with a width slider. And what that'll do is it'll give you the slider where if you increase the number, it's going to, that's the distance between them. So you can actually create these squares and sort of grid out your projects. You know, maybe just increase it to right here, and now you have a good sort of set of four quadrants right here, going from top to bottom. Now, if you wanted a little more control, we can go width and height, and let's go ahead and grab the height right here, bring it back, and then just sort of move it to where you want, where things work for you, where you sort of want to manipulate uh, everything around. And if you go up to the anchor point, we can, of course, slide this left and right. So let's say we wanna, let's bring it down to like here, Maybe bring these in a little bit more to right about there. Now then, if we're gonna work with text, we have this grid set up. Uh, we can change the color of the grid if we want it to be more like, you know, obvious in our face. So we can turn it red, increase the border here a little bit, like so. And then what I also like to do is just bring the opacity down a touch. So now it's sort of, it's in your face, but it is in the background. So you can sort of work on the graphic in the foreground. Now, if I go to the text, I can, you know, create some text right here, or actually let's just click and create the text, right like so. And then now I can make sure that if I create this text, that it aligns to a certain uh, thing. So like, we'll just bring it down here. We want it to be right on that corner. And so if we wanted to create another one over here, let's just duplicate this really quick. So hold alt, and if you drag up, it'll duplicate. And then we can drag it right in line and sort of align it uh, where we want. So like, let's bring it to right there. And so now if we created text, we can make sure that they're all on the same line at the same interval going over. A really, really sort of a quick and simple way to create this, um, this grid. And like I said, it's completely and totally interchangeable. You could create a bunch of different transparent videos all with certain grid lines in them. So like maybe you have a four by four, maybe you have a five by eight, a whole bunch of different grid layouts, and then just save them into your projects, maybe create a bin for all of them. Uh, just drag all of your grids in there. And then whenever you need it, just drag it on, drag it off a little bit tedious, but that's all we really have to work with in Premiere Pro. One last tip is if you notice when I was dragging how these graphics were actually snapping, if you go into here, make sure that you have it snap graphics checked. Uh, this is sort of recent within maybe the last four or five updates. Uh, it allows you to actually snap the graphics to one another. So make sure that's selected so that when you drag across, you'll get that sort of snap and you can align them even better to the grid. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see a video similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button, make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time guys, see ya.